What's up, guys? This is Michael with Michael Talks Metal, back for some more talking? Because that seems to be what I do. So, let's do it. This week, our topic is the first of several on the case hardening of steels. A primer on the basics of selectively heat treating the surface of parts. First up is the process of nitriding of steels like last week's Alloy 135M. If we add nitrogen to the surface of an alloy steel part, we can form a thin but very hard and wear resistant layer. That is a useful thing to have on the contact area of gears and bearings. Several methods can be used to create the nitrogen enriched surface. If we heat treat the part to sufficient temperature in an environment high in nitrogen, it will diffuse into the steel surface. Elevated temperature is required to achieve an acceptable rate of diffusion and amount of nitrogen that can be absorbed. Parts can be heat treated in a nitrogen gas environment or in molten salts containing the nitrogen. Typically, temperature is in the range of 950 to 1050 degrees Fahrenheit. Ion or plasma nitriding occurs in a vacuum chamber where an electrically charged plasma of nitrogen ions are accelerated and drawn to the steel surface. Often the parts are heat treated prior to nitriding to create strength and toughness in the core. The intended nitriding temperature would be the minimum tempering temperature in any core heat treatment. Nitriding can be applied to essentially any steel and many other alloys. Since it forms a very thin layer, it is typically the finished surface. Nitriding occurs at relatively low temperatures, which makes distortion much less of a problem than in many other surface hardening methods. And we will be discussing those methods in later videos, so stay tuned. And details of these processes are quite complicated. So here's where we're gonna tell you part requirements and specifications are super, super important. So don't forget to, here we go, check the specs, right? Check them. All right, so that's it for today, folks. Thanks for watching, and don't forget that if you have any questions, you can visit the website, michelinmetals.com, or please comment below. Missed last week's video, there it is. Still around and haven't subscribed? Please consider doing so now. Click here. This is Michael with Michael Talks Metal. I will see you guys next Thursday, 10 a.m., same time. I'm out.